Today, it's an effort to find hunger solutions, especially in rural areas. The Nation Rural Grocery Summit will explore some strategies that could help with this issue. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis joins us live at the Renaissance Hotel in Conference Center this morning. Bethany, a big meeting that addresses a big problem. Yeah, well, hunger is a problem in nearly every corner of the country, but it's an even bigger problem, even more common in areas that are considered to be rural. In fact, nine out of 10 counties with the highest food insecurity rates are considered rural. Kara Newby is the program administrator with the Hunger Solutions Institute at Auburn University. And Jimmy Wright is the owner of Wright's Market. Let's talk a little bit about hunger insecurity, an issue that just isn't going away. How have you seen it grow over the last several years? Yeah, interestingly enough, during the pandemic, there were a lot of um, kind of supports put in place. And so we didn't see food insecurity rise the way we thought it would because um, there were a lot of things that happened to help people. And when those were taken away after the pandemic, we've really seen hunger and food insecurity rise in ways that we haven't seen it rise in the past probably five or six years. And so last year was the first year that we saw food insecurity rise in probably 10 years. And there's a lot of different reasons for that, including including food prices, um, including access to food, but also people, that those supports being taken away. Um, and as you mentioned, in rural areas, it's especially difficult because of lack of access, transportation. There's a variety of different reasons, um, but, it, but it really is a problem um, in all areas, but especially in rural areas. Yeah, Jimmy, explain that situation in rural areas, <laughs> the lack of access to groceries and healthy foods. Yeah, what happens when a rural community community loses their grocery store is they lose the residents lose access to fresh foods. Now there may still be a convenience store there or possibly a dollar store, but no meat, no fresh produce or things are so important to everyone's diet. And so we begin to see, uh, you know, health issues start from that. And not to mention the, the hunger side of things. So they may be able to get a candy bar, but not a banana, an orange or something in these areas once the grocery store is gone. That is a, a real issue. I know the next couple of days or this the couple of days here, we're spending really digging into some solutions. What are some solutions we're seeing that are already working? I think some of the solutions are thinking about issues of transportation, trying to think outside the box in terms of um, possible delivery or online ordering. We're really trying to think about how to get food to rural areas in different ways. Yes. And, uh, we had an announcement yesterday from Secretary Vilsack on a healthy food financing initiative grants of $60 million that the administration is releasing. That money can be spent in rural America to keep stores open, uh, to keep fresh foods in these communities, to open new stores. It can be used for equipment and remodeling. And uh, so that's a huge investment, a huge uh, boost for rural America to keep these stores out there. Yeah, this is an important summit. This is the first time this summit has been held here in Montgomery because of the partnership with Auburn at University's Hunger Solutions Institute. And that's why it's here. This is a conference that meets every other year to bring in people from around the country to discuss ideas and learn from each other. All right, Bethany, good information there. That National Rural Grocery Summit is a two-day conference.